Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Way of Life. In this episode we are actually fighting pagans in here. I can call my mother to the war and I believe is I should. We should be using Byzantium Alliance as much as we can because we're going to lose it at some point when she dies. So hopefully she will be useful to us in this conflict. She can deal with them little troops there. She's at war with somebody as well so Let's see, who is she fighting with? Him defending and defending. How is she doing? Zero and zero and this. Okay, so you have spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It's truly really fascinating. There are so many questions you can ask. How do the stars move? Ten prestige? Is there something strange out there? Well, let's go how the stars move. That is not the question to ask sometimes. Thirsty. Oh, I'm losing men again. Send them troops. Join them together. And we're going to lose that. Oh my god. How? How is that even possible? That's the religious war for you. Seriously, I sent like 7,000 men to die. And they just died. All that happened to them. They died. Uh, so yeah, if we could grab them forces back. Oh, there is a battle between them in their own land. That's okay, I will allow that to happen. With that, I will possibly have to get rid of them and raise them back. That's the option. I might need some mercenaries as well, or at least some levies. Retinues. Okay, how many retinues do I have? I can have more, so let's raise them. Cost money, but at least they pay, they grow with strength, so they replenish the number. So the longer you fight with retinues, the better chances you have. So we'll deal with them, then I will dismiss my armies, which is like now. Armies, dismiss, and we re raise. Everybody go to Aquila. That's where we're going to combine the forces. There are wars in here that we're still losing, but hopefully my mother will actually join me in this conflict now. With her 10,000 troops, she could sort the problems for me quite nicely. Especially if she decides to combine her troops for a change. Like that. That's better. Okay. Oh, my mouse go crazy for a second. Not sure what happened there, but was going crazy. Okay, I want this land though, so let's do it. Okay, so what happens? Obser observing the movements of the stars at night, you have begun some regular patterns. The observations, however, have raised many questions. You are starting to wonder, for example, if the Earth is really the center of it all. So, I may become cynical, and I become diligent. Okay, I become cynical for sure, and I may become diligent and get 30 military points. Taking the control of the holding is fine. Let's combine all the troops. Send them there. Fighting the wars between themselves, so that's good for us. And another siege is being won. What sieges are you fighting? Why are you fighting this land there? Not very sure. Not good for you. He is attacking the High Chief down of whatever he's attacking. That's fine. That's fine. You can you can win some sieges 
and stuff. That's okay. All I need to do in here is fight these guys. Perfect. Got rid of them. Uh, let's try to re raid that. And let's just do one at a time. I think that's the easiest way to do it. Siege one at a time and keep sieging basically until we get it. For sure. In the meantime, Byzantium hopefully will clear the land for us. Because as you can see, if I get caught in the battle here, I cannot move my forces fast enough to re reinforce. So we'll have to leave it like that. What is Byzantium doing for me? That's better, you siege that. And you stay there, don't move. Okay, so hopefully now we will win this conflict. Takes a long time, because we are basically at war with every single pagan, because it's a religious war. You know, there shouldn't be that many of them, what are they? Slavic pagans, so yes, we can be at war with everybody. I wonder if Poland is still Slavic Pagans, or are they Catholics now? They are... Pagans still. Okay, so in here, the research you have conducted in the observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. You could push your studies further, but you need to purchase more equipment. Am I this kind of person? Charitable, brave, just, cruel, cynical? And temperate. I think a temperate would stop me. Uh, I'm not sure about it. May I actually do it? 30 gold? Ah, let's do it. Let's just follow the strain of events. I want to see it. And my mother is going to the hiding again. And I am not the law. Lose the just. That's not cool. And my wife is pregnant. Why there is only 1,900 men left here? I was really hoping for more than that. Know what's going on in here, but we are losing the men. Oh, we shouldn't be. Not at this rate. Is it the attrition causes that? Well, it's May, so it shouldn't really. Dangerous faction. Yes, I know about dangerous faction. Dangerous faction of this guy. Can mess me up quite badly. I think I will have to send my diplomacy guy to his land and try to improve his opinion. go there and try to improve him. He will leave the faction if he's quite high positive. So hopefully that will sort it. Come on here. We're in this land. One at a time. I don't really want to fight his army at this very moment. Plenty of weak claims on some random places. This Duke of Lombardy, why do I get the information from the Duke of Lombardy? I don't want him as a special person anymore. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this battle. Seriously, we can't win the religious war. I lost like hundreds of thousands of men. In one conflict after another, my mother basically took her 20,000 troops and just left. Nobody understands really why would she do that. My children can be trained. That's my oldest son though, so he's not as important. Educate a child. Let's do it with a guy who hates me. Just to improve his opinion of me. Can I move my troops there? That would help. 
Oh, let's just move them. Byzantium, could you help and just siege this land and sort it for us? Because seriously, you're moving the 20,000 troops stuck. You should be easily dealing with every possible threat that there is. Let's move them to Treviso so we can stand further away. It's not looking great. We can stop bouncing back and forth and just do the proper assault. Because that's what I need. I need you to actually deal with them. But I'm splitting the forces around. A new herb, another sun, okay. I'm really fertile in here by the looks of it. And then... Now I can send my forces, hopefully. If Byzantium will deal with that. Come on, send this 10,000 troops. Are you going to send it? Perfect. Now, if Byzantium sends them troops to join me here, we'll assault it immediately. Because we need this land. Byzantium dealt with Saxony, so that's great. Well, I need them ready to join me in my war. That's fine. They are expanding like crazy, I have to stop that. At the moment I have no resources to do it, so... Come Byzantium, join me here. I will keep these troops open so I can see you joining. And if you join, we'll assault what you want. I was hoping that you stay. Then I could use your troops. Okay. As you watch some birds darting nimbly through the air, you find yourself wondering why is that? The man cannot do the same. Let's do it. Let's observe the man. The, bear, the birds, I mean. Okay, so it's quite a bit to do for us at the moment. Hopefully we can actually siege it. Perfect, his opinion improves. Your night studies of the movement of celestial bodies are increasing your knowledge of great many things. You feel that you are getting closer to understanding the universe. I only got a hundred military points from that as well. Uh, my daughter can be improved as well. Improved, educated. By any guy who doesn't like me. By you then, that's fine. Okay, that's great. Let's grab this land. Byzantium, you should keep at least 2000 men here around for a while. There will be more to come from the pagan lands. Okay. The prototype of the flying machine is near per completion, but it would probably be ill advised to pilot it within yourself in the Maiden flight. Fortunately, you know several promising candidates you could possibly do. The dog belonging to the blacksmith's daughter, Meldry, local dog gatherer, and dog's body. Otis, the cook's overweight son. Let's grab this dude and send him to send somebody, so let's go. We find a city with steepy island and unfortunately he crashed. Ah, the clicking again. The mouse is going crazy. Nobody knows why, but it went crazy. Okay. Verdict is bruised and butter, but alive. Your flying machine was failure. To make butter words, another scholar in the Zag Zagreb has already made its own functional prototype. Uh, just as the bevo bevo surrender to despair, Mary gives you the toothless smile and says, I have a cunning plan. I will regret hearing it, but let's do it. What sort of cunning plan he can have? 
And the opinion of this dude is improved again. How much do you like me now? 65. I have to battle through the ambition, that's the problem. And hopefully, eventually, I can do that. How did he did it? Well, forever remained a mystery, but Maverick has managed to steal the rival scholar and flying machine. He playfully bring it to the cliff, but his green vanished when you inform him he will be flying again. You, spend, you send him over the cliff, and Maverick enters the brief spiraling dive before slamming into the ground. Well, let's waste it. Effort a little bit. By the efforts, it seems that the secret of flight has not been uncovered. We have to be uncovered by the future generations. Well, that's fine. As it says, Para Ar Aruda at Astra. Whatever it means in Latin, I have no idea, guys. Sorry. You are welcome to tell me in the comments if you can find it out. In the meantime, we are still fighting this war. The Byzantium is still sieging this land, hopefully they will stay there and don't move, because I need them. I want to siege that. So it's taking all quite a while, guys. I really need to increase the crown authority, because this guy is going crazy. He is going crazy there. And we need that, we need to grab his land of him. Hopefully when my army actually grows stronger, I can do it. Very few men, let's dismiss the, them. Dismiss my vassals, because that will improve the opinions of me, of them. And... Working the observatory late, lately, you are often frustrated by the broken equipment. Weeks on end, cloudy weather and frequent interruptions by curious intruders and even animals. It's very hard to maintain concentration and get it done. It's no use. I can become slothful? No, we'll go for that. 10% of getting stressed. They got stressed? Of course I would. There is a 10% of chance of getting a bad event, my guy will get it 100% of the time. But that's life, hopefully you can restore that, okay. Absorb the title of Duccio Ferrera from the Count whatever, okay. So you are absorbing titles right crazy there. And you will want to fight me soon, I'm sure of that. So I have to be strong for it, I'll have to grab his land and stuff. Oh, he's grabbing this land, that's okay. With your help, I can defeat my NFO. We'll join the King Lombard in his offensive wars, okay. My friend Count of Verona. Well, that's alright, thank you. That's nice of him. He will join us in this war. He's not my direct vassal. Oh, he is my direct vassal. My wife is pregnant. Seriously, what is this woman doing? Oh, because she loves me so much, that's why. That's why she's pregnant again. How is this siege going? They nearly done it as well, so that's not bad. And we nearly done this one. So it's all going according to plan in here, at least. Hopefully with them sieges we can actually ma make some progress here. It's a good job we called Byzantium in this war, because otherwise it would be a problem. Actually my guy being so... my vassal being so aggressive is actually expanding land nicely on them here. And more of this land is actually going to different people. Okay, good luck, that's fine. They actually end up being my vassals directly, so I don't know how they do it, but they end up being my vassals. 
unless they like died out and the land passed to me, that's the other option. I can't siege that, so let's pull some of my forces. Let's dismiss them and raise them again. A few thousand men, yes, we can do that. It will also reduce the faction that was going on. Are they still on? No, at least the faction is finished now. Can't pop off for Lombardy, that's alright. So because he likes me, the faction is finished, okay. So here, dear King of Lombardy, we have been told that you are pursuing studies of fields to deny the truth of God. And I'm certain that such rumors are only a slender and that you should never do such a thing. Well, Pope should stay away from my business. I will get prestige or lose piety. His opinion will lower of me and Temple Vassal will hate me. The best answer is to silence, lose 20 prestige, 20 piety and the Pope opinion. I can go with that and everyone will love me, but that's not what I want. The best answer is a silence. I have enough prestige, so I don't need that that much. Let's go for that. Silence is not bad. We'll just ignore him. That's the way. I can't believe they moved from the siege. But sometimes, seriously, AI doesn't know completely how to play this game. Keep my forces combined. Perfect. As long as they go here, we can start sieging this city and then temple and stuff. So it should work nicely there. And the crazy clicking was on again. I'm not sure what's going on in here. Okay, my niche. Pains me to say, but there is a traitor in the realm. Okay, the rotten egg is plotting the downfall. The count of whatever. My marshal. I'm cruel, brave, but charitable and temperate. Evidence. Or do I know that he's a traitor? Release this guy first. And let's check it here. My Marshal is actually not plotting anything against me, so no. Evidence then. I have to end all these plots in here because they always cause issue to me. Oh, this clicking thing, guys, is so annoying. I don't know what causes that completely. What can we... Another sun, that's okay. Trying to end all them plots as much as I can. Just so we can have less plots going on in the country. Less the better, really. We want the country stable as much as possible, really. Okay, that was sorted nicely, okay. Now, this siege is being done. Another siege is being done as well, so it should work. How many men do I need here? Quite a lot. And the war is finished. Because they became Catholics. I don't know exactly what I would like them to do. Well, that's okay. They changed the religion to mine, I guess. Not something we had to expect. Even though I was winning this war already. My beloved mother wants me to accept the war. Well, I have to accept it, yes. She and me, we are fighting against this dude. He can pull 2000 men, that's fine, easily. Let's pull my troops back and dismiss my forces. There's some war battle going there, but I'm not concerned of it, so this means them. My retinues can go back to Lombardy. And let's just kind of spread them around. 
to play that. Now place some characters to lead them. Perfect. And they can go back. Okay guys, I think we're going to finish the episode in here. So far we are doing not too bad really. Let's just read that. Okay, the Abbot nearby monastery has asked that you make the donation towards the repairs of the monastery church. I'm charitable. Uh, so, yes, I will do it. Okay, guys, so yeah, as I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we will finish here. See you guys next time.